what a beautiful day to be out for a test ride on the Royal Enfield Intercept of 650. It's a lovely bike to ride. I have to be honest and say it's better than I thought it was going to be. Significantly better. The brakes are remarkably good for a single disc. I haven't got the ABS to come on yet and I gave them a good hammering. Nice and progressive on the front. Back's back brake's nice as well. Handles gravel middle bits like that. I was riding up and down quite happily. It doesn't budge. When you hit bumps or seams or nastier bits, it's moving me around a wee bit, but I'm super lightweight. But the bike isn't moving around. The suspension's coping with it remarkably well. Better than any of my adventure bikes, I would say. It's more compliant. You don't feel any weight on the bike at all when you're moving. And it just moves into bends and holds a line <laughs> brilliantly. You know, I mean, okay, it's the first time I've ridden a road bike in since I had my Tracer 900 and was doing crazy stuff on it. I'm more used to my adventure bikes, my Tenere 700, my KTM 390 and my Himalayan. And I'm no Royal Enfield fanboy, not in the slightest. But I cannot deny that's a lovely bike to ride. Apart from the, <laughs> the mirror pointing the wrong way, it came loose. But hey, it's brand new. About 140 miles on it now, maybe 135. 141 miles on it, brand new. So, still got to free off. And even with that, if you want to gas it, it'll go in traffic. If you want to hammer it away for your lights or anything, it'll do it quite the thing. It's quicker than most motors. Well, you know, apart from these mad electric things that nowadays, but that's another story for another day. It's a nice looking bike. I stopped at Sweetheart Abbey, but there was people go coming towards me like they were wanting to talk about the bike, and I thought, no, I don't want to do that. I can't even be doing with that. So I just pulled my helmet back on and rode away, much to their disappointment. Because <laughs> I don't know anything about all, you know, all Royal Enfields. When I got into bikes, 1980, they were rubbish. Royal Enfields were, were garbage then. But that's a remarkably competent bike. And I've had it up to 70 quite the thing. I've had it a wee bit higher on that, but don't tell Gordon. <laughs> Sorry, Gordon. Like main street here. Cut. <laughs> uh, things that I don't like about it. I'd move the bars and I'd probably put them up a wee bit for my six feet frame. The seat is probably too soft for a long journey, I don't know. Other than that, you know, a couple of cosmetic things and some bits to lose weight off it. Not that it needs it, but it just might as well. That's a lovely motorcycle. So a big thank you to Gordon at Hollywood Services. A great dealership, real great dealership to go to. When I was there, there was two other guys turned up to go for test rides on these. One on a CB 650F Honda. Uh, and I don't know what the other guy was on, he did say, but I can't remember, CB500X, I think. And they were both, well, one of them was out before me for a wee quick ride, and he came back and he was all gushing about how well it handled in bends, and it really does hold a line in a bend beautifully. So again, thank you to Gordon at Hollywood Services. If you're looking for a Royal Enfield, I doubt you'd find a better dealer. Very friendly. Coffee always available and plenty of folk around to chat to and loads of bikes. <laughs> it's, it's great fun. It can bimbo. It's add it in sixth gear. So sorry, I'm gushing now. Add it in sixth gear at under 30 mile an hour and it just 
pulled off the saw. The fueling is perfect on it. Absolutely perfect. No juddering, no stuttering, no nothing. It feels very heavy when you're lifting it off that side stand, though it really does. But other than that, I mean, if that's the biggest issue that the bike's ever going to have, brilliant. Right, I better go. I've got mail to put on this brand new bike. <laughs> I thought it said 1300, but shh, don't tell anybody, right? It may have gone over the recommended revs for the, <laughs> for the mileage. May or may not, I can neither confirm nor deny. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye.